Hi Gemini, welcome back. So this is your reading for the month of August when it comes to your career and money. Welcome to any new viewers. Welcome to any new subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, let's have a look at Gemini to see what are they. So there's the world reverse and page of swords popping out already. Let's see what's the energy surrounding Gemini for August. So this will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs. Remember, these are general messages, so not all of the messages may resonate. You take what does and you leave the rest, okay? If there's anyone who's interested in connecting with me for a personal read, you can follow the details in the description box below. You can follow me on Instagram, the Moon Goddess Tarot. And for those who are interested in winning a free reading with me, if you haven't subscribed, that's all you need to do, subscribe. I will draw July's winner either today or tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day of July. Um, and announce it on the channel. So stay tuned. Spirit guides, benevolent ancestors, higher self, Holy Spirit. This is me and channel messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for the month of August for money. May the messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to Nanashe. Alright guys, what's the message you want me to share with Gemini for the month of August for money? What's the messages for Gemini for the month of August for money? guys with messages for Gemini for the month of August for money. Thank you. Wow. First card out, Queen of Staff. So Gemini, I get a sense of confidence. I get a sense of um, knowing. A sense of feeling like focused, like you know where you're going. You, you also very creative feel like y'all swirling with creativity but there's a real sense of confidence in July when it comes to money maybe y'all coming into your own when it comes to your manifestation like attracting your abundance your prosperity through your gifts through your talents maybe it's like all the hard work that you've put in in the past is now finally going to come to you and make you feel like you know you are mastering your domain also, you, you're capable of taking care of yourself. You're capable of attracting everything you need. Page of Swords, bottom of the deck. Did I not say, and the World card reverses here as well. These were the two cards that tried to pop up earlier. All right, so Page of Swords, and this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, Like I was saying, like, again, there's a sense of real surety that like you feel assured you feel confident within your gifts some of you might be writers maybe writers poets um but using expression to attract your money and i also feel like there's a sense of um like i was saying confidence confidence is the word that keeps coming through i feel like you have something to say and regardless of if it's controversial to others or they don't understand your vibe that you will say you'll stand true stand stand strong in it stand strong in your truth top of the deck is the hanged man all right so there is a sense of suspension maybe you feel like you're being suspended i also feel like there's a sense of surrender a sense of freedom here Again, a sense of being assured with your path. You've got nine of swords reversed. So maybe in months before, there was a sense of you weren't sure if your path was valid, if what you had to say was valid, if your passions were valid, if they were, um, if you were able to, to draw in your, to build your, your, financial ability and strength through what you have to offer. I get a feeling like Gemini, this is like y'all are 
I get creative energy here. And for those who aren't necessarily in the creative um, path, on the creative path, it could even be that you, maybe some of you got promotions or will be getting promotions in August or new jobs, new job offerings. Maybe some of y'all be headhunted and that's why you feel so confident and be like, yeah, I'm all that type of vibe. But with this page of source to it, it could be word coming in, communication coming in, or you communicate as a way to draw in your money. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Why is the Queen of Staff here, Spirit Guides, for, for Gemini? Why is the Queen of Staff here for Gemini? I don't know, for some of you it could be that this Queen of Staffs is an energy surrounding you, assisting you. Because this could be Leo, this could be Sagittarius, this could be Aries energy. Maybe it's Leo season that has you feeling like really confident and really like, you know, assured, very much assured. Why is the Queen of Staffs here for Gemini in August? Sorry guys, for money. What's the Queen of Staffs here in August for money for Gemini? Spirit Guides. Thank you. The full reversed. Alright, so watch out for being cocky. Okay. You can be confident, but it could there's a thin line and it could come off as arrogant or cocky. Alright, so maintain a sense of humility where necessary. You know, there again it's such a fine line. So be mindful of that. Bottom of the deck is Knight of Cups reversed. Hmm. You might be going back and forth between the two. Actually, maybe that's what it is. You might be going back and forth between feeling confident and, and being insecure and doubting. I feel like that's what that is actually. This queen of staffs. Because upright, I feel like the fool is very confident. So much so, he's confident because it's like moving from a childlike sense of, of adventure and exploration of the world, right? So children don't have a sense of fear or, you know, they just throw themselves into things. Well, when you see the fool reverse, it could be that you don't feel confident about your journey. So maybe you will be oscillating between these two energies um wheel of fortune is here at top of the deck so you gotta know your path you gotta trust your path trust the process see beyond what's in front of you see things with your third eye type of energy what what is the queen of stars here what's the any other message for this Queen of Staffs? Thank you. Right, so you got the Hierophant here. That's two major cards. And three of Wands or three of Rods reversed. Um, yeah, as you progress, you, you're going to need to be more organized, more stable, more structured. And also, I feel like to say to you, follow things by the book where possible, where needed. There's no need for you to reinvent the wheel. Also, again, be mindful of as confident as you are. Be mindful that sometimes you might not see the full picture or the full scope of a situation. So when in doubt, ask questions or seek assistance. You know, don't get to the point where you get arrogant and then you have to go back to the drawing board because you didn't take precautions or follow the rules, right? So be mindful of that. This Wheel of Fortune is here again, bottom of the deck. So there's a portal opening for you, Gemini. Why is this page of swords here for Gemini for money in August? Very good. Why is this page of swords here for Gemini? Spirit guides, why is the page of swords here for Gemini? Thank you. Five of swords reversed. 
So this page of swords could be you, again, with your confidence, having the potential to border on arrogance. Um, you might be a bit too mouthy or con too controversial for people. Maybe people aren't ready to hear what you have to say, right? Maybe it's not what you say, but how you say it. There's the five of swords here reversed, all right? So if they're in, just be mindful that there is a potential for people not taking what you have to say the way how you intend it to be received, all right? Be mindful of how you say things and to whom you say things to, all right? There, I don't feel like with this five of swords reversed, it's not as horrible, I feel, as if it was upright and it was some kind of massive conflict or falling out. Um, it could just be down to misunderstanding here, all right? It could just be down to misunderstanding. Somebody not quite understanding or, or seeing, understanding you and your intentions. So you need to be really clear with your intentions and your words in August when it comes to your money, all right? You've got Nine of Swords here again, bottom of the deck. So you have it twice. So I feel like there is there was a sense of somebody trying to knock your situations, knocking you. You didn't trust your in your. Maybe you didn't feel quite confident, or things weren't manifesting the way how you wanted, and now it's like yeah, y'all thought y'all got knocked me. Y'all thought y'all knocked me down, but nope. Never. You could never stop me, and you climbing yourself back up from out of it whatever this was maybe you feel strong maybe there was a conflict maybe this five of swords was upright but no whatever happened in the past you know healing from it and you're now ready and ready for anything to come you know you're more confident in what you have to say you're more expressive in you standing up for yourself maybe that's what that was as well for some of you why is this hangman here Okay. Any other message? Thank you. You got four swords and six of rods. Now this four of swords goes brilliantly with this hangman because it's that same energy. I feel like the four of swords is a, is the lower energies of the hangman. The hangman is you being suspended, you know, not moving, but in order to not necessarily out of doing nothing is to gain an understanding, to gain enlightenment on a situation, to get a better perspective on a situation, right? And that's the same energy here with this four swords. Taking a time out from it all so you can get a better perspective, to, to get a better understanding of what are the energies you're dealing with, with your money. All right. The high man is also car 12, which is two and one is three. Hangman energy is very prevalent for this year because this is a three year. So it's Empress energy and Hangman energy. So it's coming through here for you. Six of Rods. All right. Sometimes taking a step back from a situation is all you need to turn a situation around. All right. This Six of Rods is a success, victory. This could be promotions, um, winning, maybe a pay rise maybe manifesting more clients more customers more um, selling more art whatever it is definitely a victory here because you held back hanged back rather not even held back but hanged back for a bit to get a better understanding of the energies you're working with the hind man energy can also be about you pursuing your spiritual paths like I said, the hangman, this is like he can be hanging upside down in order to gain enlightenment. All right. To better understand himself, to better understand his purpose, to get to gain strength in order to follow his purpose, regardless of if people understand it or not. It's that same energy with this page of swords that I was saying before is like, regardless of if people understand you or you or you know what you have to say is controversial there's a sense of strength because you know that that's your truth and you know that you have to express it right you know that 
you can make a change in this reality by expressing it. And it's the same type of thing with this hangman um, situation. Hangman is also about sacrifice. You know, maybe some sacrifice has to be made here. Hang back a bit. Take a break from something in order for you to then win what it is you want. Why is the Nine of Swords here? King of Cups reversed. So this Nine of Swords where you're pulling yourself out of a dark situation or regaining confidence. Maybe something happened in the past where something's knocked your confidence. You got this King of Cups reversed. I don't know if it's a water energy that was a part of this knocking you down for a bit. Um, so this could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's King of Cups reverse. Somebody who might be overly emotional. Um, maybe even emotionally manipulative. Page of Swords reversed. So maybe this is the person you had the argument with. Somebody who was very cutting in the way how they spoke to you. Maybe that's you responding to this King of Cups reverse. And that's where the, where everything kicked off. And that's why you're like sitting here and I'm like, yep, I am, I am it. You know, this King of Cups stepped in and you took care of it. Page of Swords reverse. Both reverse energies, both like um, extremes. You got the death card here. So whatever this conflict was, that's now kind of dissipated because Five of Swords is reversed here. This is you, Page of Swords, showing up twice here. This is Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. I feel this is you. This is you now feeling more strong in what you have to say because this energy is kind of now faded out, whatever this conflict was. And this is it. This was it here, possibly with the water sign. Possibly somebody who's emotionally manipulative. You're pulling yourself out of that though. This energy. <clears throat> and you had words with this person. Okay. And ended it ended whatever they came to you with you ended it with your words transformed it trying and in turn transformed yourself okay under that death card is a magician and this is mercury so this is virgo this is you gemini being in control you know taking control like manifesting Taking control of your your environment and who surrounds you and what surrounds you and how you direct your energies under that is Wheel of Fortune. Here again. Okay. Why any potential blockages or obstacles for Gemini in August when it comes to their money? Any potential blockages or obstacles they should be aware of, Spirit Guides. Thank you. Seven of Swords reversed. Well. Um, <clears throat> this seven of swords is like something coming to the light. Maybe you are brutally honest. Maybe that's what this seven of swords is. You being brutally honest, which again could create um, divisions in some way or you being misunderstood right or people just not ready for you being so brutally honest i think i did say that from the beginning that there's a sense of you be mindful of also in between being confident and being cocky that could cause you to then have to take several steps back in order to fix it so with this seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here spirit guys with gemini Why is the seven of swords here for Gemini Spirit guys? 
thank you nine of wands reversed yeah so be mindful of being soul cutting with your words because of what you've been through before and now you're like nope people are not going to walk over me people are not going to take advantage of me i know how i'm going to direct my energies in order to get this money um y'all tried to mess up my business before but you're not going to do it again you try to come at me sideways with your words and hurt me but i'm pulling myself back up out of it um maybe telling me that my business will never get off the ground or whatever the case may be and there's a potential for you being brutally honest in august but i feel like it's it's coming from a place of guarding you know guarding protecting yourself protecting you know being defensive when you really don't need to be because you know who you are you're the queen of staffs right you know how to direct your energies you don't you don't need to get caught up in all the dramas you know walk away actually walk away from all that take the high road take the high ground right you don't have time to be like expending energies into silly conversations and silly words with people who do not matter Knight of Swords reverse, yeah. And like I was saying to Taurus, be mindful of what you say and who you say it to because I get this, there's a sense of sabotage. Like there's a sense of people who've been putting in the work will start to see things turning around for them, I feel, in August and as we progress. And those who have been avoiding the work, I feel, will be trying to trip up those who have been doing it. And this is when I'm talk when I say work, I mean the spiritual work, the digging deep, feeling what you feel, the following your truth, being authentic, all these different things. Doing the work. <laughs> Top of the deck. Those who've been doing the work will start to see things turn around. And I feel because of that is where you're gonna get people trying to sabotage, people trying to trip up people, people trying to like, you know, bad mind and evil eye and all sorts be mindful of that yeah yeah see things and people for who they are again be mindful of who you speak to be mindful of what you say because under that is this three of swords right so with this three of swords there's the truth there's your truth their truth and the truth going down the middle right so you don't really want to be putting yourself mm -hmm, three of cups reverse on top of this seven of cups Laying on top of this seven of cups, you seeing the truth for who it for seeing the truth of a matter. Hang on, let me pull this out because this is deep. So I cracked the deck down the middle, and this was the seven of cups. Laying here on top of that is the three of swords, and on top of this seven of cups is the three of cups reversed. All right, so people might be feeling salty. The truth is, show, people showing themselves for who they really are. All right saltiness i get be mindful gemini be the master of your domain be the master of your words okay this is mercury be, be a master of your words and what you spell into your life What's the word of advice for Gemini in the month of August when it comes to your money, Spirit guys? The hangman reversed. So you got the hangman twice. This time it's reversed. Um, you got eight of pentacles here. You got king of pentacles. You got ten of pentacles. Well... <clears throat> You got the Tower, Temperance, the High Priestess, Gemini, all cards, Deep, Ace of Pentacles, Reverse. Yeah, especially with these three cards, money, 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 money. I feel like it's about you being focused on the work. Focus on attracting your abundance being the master of your material realm 
coming together and building a legacy. Why is this hangman here? What's the other word of advice, spirit guys, for Gemini? What's the other word of advice for Gemini, spirit guys? What's the word of... Make it nice and clear, please. Four wands. Alright, so... I feel like the hangman reverse for your word of advice. It's like, maybe now is the time for you to move forward. Maybe now is the time for you to... Like your perspective, your perspective has been changed. You can now see how to move forward with strength. You heading towards this this six of rods, this recognition, this success. Okay, and that's clarifying the first high man card. Six of rods. Your second high man card reversed is here with the four of rods. Structure, stability, success again. But this time I feel like it's time for you to move towards it. So you have, you've had your chance to look at situations, change your perspective, take a time out, connect, reconnect with yourself. Think about everything that's happened and move towards your victory, your, your success, your, you know, what it is you really want to, to attain. The high my reverse is like, now is the time for you to make those moves, you know, but from a place of enlightenment right remember from enlightenment that's the whole point of the first hangman to seek your enlightenment to seek your truth to know who you are right and to go towards your winnings why is this four of wands here for whatever advice the high priestess wow okay I feel like definitely, Gemini, you're going to have to look beyond what is being presented to you. Everything might not be as it appears, so you have to be shrewd. I feel like that's why your first high man was there, for you to be able to take the time to see things, see people for who they are. There is a potential here for you being successful, for you being, um, for that structure and stability and winning and celebration to come but you have to be able to see beyond what's being presented to you i feel too is like it's about you um also taking a responsibility in some ways and accountability in some ways and also it's about i just heard not being a martyr don't lean into being a martyr or feeling like a victim in any situation hmm, you got the world here what's in the deck beautiful what's the final outcome for this for money for Gemini what's the final outcome for it guys for money in August thank you you got 10 of cups reversed so I feel like that's about you being independent. Maybe, oh, Ace of Swords, love it. Being independent, being clear in your direction, speaking your truth, expressing yourself, going after your art. Um, Nine of Cups is here, right? So you got Ten of Cups reversed. And Nine of Cups and Ace of Swords down the middle. And I was going to say with this Ten of Cups reverse, it's about you stepping out into your, being an individual. Maybe before you wanted to collaborate, but maybe your strength is in being on your own and doing things from your own. And down the middle is this Ace of Swords. And on the other side is the Nine of Cups, which is the wishes fulfilled. So this Ten of Cups energy reverse is the same energy of this Nine of Cups upright. So you're basically going in the right direction. Your wishes can be fulfilled. All of what you want can happen. I feel like there's a lot of victory and winning and recognition when it comes to you expressing yourself through your art, through your words. Maybe it's even about you literally spelling 
what you want to come into your life. And that's that Queen of Wands energy, Queen of Staffs energy. That witch vibe, like um, commanding energy through words, spelling, you know? And I feel like that's what that is right here. Speak your reality into existence. And also stand on your own and know that you are capable of standing on your own and bringing in everything you want in your own way. In your own way. King of Swords reversed here. All right, so I feel like it's not so much about the logic, but it's about how things feel to you as well. All right, you got the tower. So some massive change is coming. But I'm sure I'm, I'm, I have a feeling that you will be happy. Down the middle of that tower is temperance on one side, which is a healing that comes after this tower. Well, actually, no. This comes after death. You have a tower, so something massive changing. And then on the other side is ten of pentacles, which is the legacy, the money, building, coming together, building something strong that will take you through generations. This generational wealth type of energy. All right, so I'm excited for you, Gemini. Y'all move into, yep, yeah, Six of Swords is here. Move into new ground, new waters. We've got to trust the process here. Okay, let's pull an oracle for you. What's the message you want to share with Gemini for money in the month of August? Any other message for Gemini? Thank you. Any other message for Gemini, Spirit Guides? Okay, so your two cards. Don't let your pride get in the way. So remember I said to you there could be a possibility of you oscillating between confidence and arrogance. Yeah, so be mindful of that, Gemini. Don't let your pride get in the way. And the next card is Prosperity Lies Ahead. New Moon and Taurus. Ashe. And that's what I see here for you. On your own grounds. On your own terms. With your truth. Speaking your truth. You're very close to achieving your goal. I love it. Be bold and make the first move, Gemini. And take time to breathe out. So I feel like that's how you'll keep yourself grounded and not float off into your magnificence. <laughs> okay, Gemini, those are your messages. I'll stop it there. Those are your messages for August. When it comes to your money, if the messages have resonated, like the video, share it. Um, drop a comment below and... Gemini, until next video, big love to you. Bye-bye.